welcome back to my channel this is Shesha SJ today we are going to make another DIY from the Dollar Tree item and you may not be able to find this some of the item at the Dollar Tree but you can also grab them at Walmart as well so everything are not even ten dollars but under five dollar items so if you can go over there and check them out, you can grab them in there and if you can find them at the Dollar Tree. So go proceed to Walmart, all right? So hope you like it, so let's get started. All right, you won't believe what we are going to use today. We are going to use this, all right? Not actually this one, not this bottom. Make sure when you are going to use this make sure it's new or somehow it's clean or please make sure it's new <laughs> all right so i got this one from the dollar tree and we are going to use this jute i actually get this from walmart so it's i think it's a dollar something 30 ish a dollar and 30 something cents and this one is three bucks somehow three bucks or more and this one is i usually have this one i got this long time ago i can't remember how much is this and this one is this clothes pin it's the tiniest clothes pin i got this one as well at walmart so i think it was like a dollar something 50 ish something cent so it's it is affordable as well so all in all i think this is what we're going to use today and a glue gun and a glue stick so i think that's it all right all right first we are going to work on our jute this kind of cord which is i don't know how thin it is but it's it's a little bit thin ish all right so all i could say if you're allergic with the jute go ahead with a yarn or some something special that you like okay because some people are allergic to it and what i have right now in my hand it's a paper towel tube and if you have a tissue roll or some something like this or a paper the size that you want with this particular project we are just going to use this kind of size of a tube okay so if you can find something like this or something toilet paper roll leftovers so go ahead and cut them like this and what we do is you start at the bottom bottom and we are going to make a roll for 15 of this so 15 so you end as well at the bottom and then you cut them off and then you secure it on the top go insert your thread or somehow your jute underneath and try to secure it with your hand your hand will tell like how far and how it can go or how it works right and then you just have to tie them with a regular knot I double knot it and then you cut them off it doesn't matter how long you want it but that's how we want it and then after that you pull it out once you pull it out you cut this bottom area of that jute so you just cut it all right so once you cut it see the one that you just tied up in there you are going to tie like almost like that like right on the neck okay not on the neck but just like that and then you tie them with a knot as well I double knot it so double knot and then I cut them off and you can trim it so they're like almost even okay and there you go it should look like this all right look like that and you are going to have 10 of these okay so 10 
of these. All right, next we are going to use this bigger, the bigger jute one size, which is this kind of size, almost like the size half of my pinky. Okay, now we are going to cut this, three of this for a 30 inches, okay? So 30, this, my mat is measured as 24 from here to here, but in this edge right here, that could be 24, 25, and then this side is 26. So 24, 25, 26, so. 26, this is 26, I'll just measure 26. So this is here is 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I stop down here, right here. And I'm going to cut three of this, okay? So 30, this is 30. All right. So these is 30. And we need one of 30, okay? Only one of this. And you can grab a tape, tape the end of this one so you are not going to be chasing this one. I just tape it down. All right, and then if you have a this one, then you can also use this as a clip. Okay, and so you know the distance of your Jute. Let me try and figure this one out. Make sure that this is the right one. Okay, so I just have to cut this right here. Alright, so then I'm going to start braiding this one, okay? Alright, so if you have uh, some kind of like heavy kind of book or a clipboard, somehow like that, you can also use that. But this one is I'm just going to use right now because it's what I have. So I'm just going to clip that at the end of my book and I can start braiding them. Okay, so I'm going to braid now. Alright, so it's almost done. And remember, we are just braiding this 30 inches one and after that all we have to do is you can just tape the end as well okay so tape the end just to secure it and let it stay all right so this is the 30 inches one okay next is we are going to cut another one so we have to go down to two inches so it'll be 28 so let's measure 28 this is 26 26 27 28 so it should be like that long and we are going to fold it Cut three of twenty-eight. Okay, and we can tape the end. And then we are going to start braiding this again. And for the twenty-eight, we need two of this, okay? So two of 28. All right, next is going to be 26 inches. All right, so this mat is 26. So I'm going to cut three again. One, two, and three. All right. And I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to make two of the 26 again so it'll be two of this okay 
So I'm going to braid more, so stay with me, all right? All right, so next after 30, 28, 26, we are going to cut 24 inches, okay? So this is 24 down here. One, two, and three. So we are going to cut two of 24, okay? So stay tuned while I'm doing this because we are almost there, okay? All right, so we have all this done. So we have the 30 inches one that we just braided, two of 28, two of 26, and two of 24. So this is kind of like a lined up of angle that we are, we are having right now. So let's get started and put this on this handle not this one we are going to remove this okay and you can remove this as well if you want to the easier one to remove this is when you hair dry it super super easy but anyhow even if we have to remove this it'll be covered anyways so I'm just going to proceed and Forget about the stickiness in here, okay? So, here we go. Make sure your glue gun is preheated, all right? So let's go. All right, so next is we are going to put our rod. This is a rod, right? <laughs> okay, and then we have to meet in the middle. The longer one, which is the 30 inches, is going to be in the middle, okay? First, you are going to remove the tape. Of course, you have to remove it because you don't want that showing in there. And, and then all you have to do is you are going to glue that in the middle. Should be somehow like so, like that. Be generous with your glue. Okay, just like so. And turn it all around until you meet this end. Like you closed it like so. Just like that. Okay, so you glue it all the way to the end. Like this of that rope you meet there. All right. There you go. All right, so there is our 30 inches. Next is going to be our 28. So it'll be here. And the 26 is going to be in here. And then the 24 is going to be in this end. So they're gonna be hanging, okay? So I'm going to keep on gluing this on the rod and I'll show you how it came out, okay? After all these glued, okay? All right, so as you can see guys, so you don't get confused, always make a mark where to start on your rope, like when you start it, like so. So then you know it's even when you're done, all right? And then I also make a mark two inches apart, all right? So I'm going to keep this one going, all right? All right, so they are like two inches distance on this rod. And they are glued all the way and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hang in here so it's easy to hang it all right so I have this size of a jute it's almost like the medium size because I have this 
size and then the smaller one that we used earlier so what I did is I cut a 35 inches of this jute and all I have to do is I have to I want to tie this one down here on this end just a regular knot and if you knew the distance of your rope for using to hook on it you can just cut it if you want to if it's too long for you you can just cut it or trim it down and this is what i want like that long right there to hook on right so once you know the distance of the rope that you want then you can secure it with a glue we are going to start covering this with this jute now so all we have to do is we are going to cover this up i start at the bottom so it's not showing all right so i will start at the bottom and you just have to cover this around with a jute all over okay Alright, so the tricky one in here is when you reach to the point where you know that how are you going to escape this bigger one that we just braided, all you have to do is you just have to make it jumped on the back and make sure that it's showing on the back. Because remember, this is our front one where we stop on that glued area where we put a line in there. See that line that I just put? So make sure you jumped out on the way back. I'll show you how right at the moment. Like you just cross over to that area. Cross that line right there on the back. Like what I did on that first one as well. I jumped on the back. You just keep on going and Keep on covering this whole rod with a jute. All right, so as you can see, we are almost done. And all we have to do in here is we just have to make this jute cover this whole rod. And we are almost done, you guys. And I'm so excited. All you have to do is just try to make it finished until you don't see any end of that. And then you just have to cut it down like so. Okay. And then you just have to close it down at that end. All right. Be careful. It's hot, you guys. Don't be, don't be like me. <laughs> And there you go. There you go. Now we have an awesome covered rod with jute in it. So as you can see, they are super cute. And next is we are going to put something in here. Awesome. All right. So as you can see, that's the closer look of our rod. And that end and on that end Isn't that beautiful all right next is we are going to attach this rope that we just cut individually with this kind of style so we are going to attach this down here but first to be able to be more secured i want this one to be glued on this braided jute and i am going to tie it as well so it's even more secured so what i did is you're going to have at least this crochet tool so i'm going to put 
So what I do is I'm going to make this one look even in this area. But first, I'm going to cut this piece that's been hanging right here on the top. That's one of the reason in there it needs to be in there so then I, I know where to find my route. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. Alright, so there you go. It's even more cleaner. And I'm going to glue this in this area to make it look even on the other half of that side. And just glue it. Alright, so then I'm just going to tie it with a knot in it, okay? Go back, tie everything down, and just a simple knot. Just two knots in there, like so. Just like that. And you can just leave it longer, or you can trim it so that we're in the same size of that area so they're like almost the same size of that little spot okay so then i'm going to put the other half below it the same way i'm going to i already did the others okay so i'm just going to remove the top all right so there you go we have a design already going and all right, so you may wonder, what did I do at this end down here? I secured it with tying it with a jute as well. So this is how I do it. I cut that tape. All right, and then I tie it with a single turn of that jute on it and just tie it down securely and double knot it. All right, so after I do that, I cut that off. And I put this rope here that I just... So then after that, I'm going to attach this down here and put a glue. So there you go. All right, we are almost done. So next is I'm going to each of this rope that has something like this, I am going to put a bling bling on it. So I'm going to use my bling bling and it should look like that. I got this one long, long time ago, guys. So, yep. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to glue them in here, all right? All right, so they are all having a bling bling already. Now we are going to put our clothes pin, all right? So what I'm trying to aim in here is I'm going to put the clothes pin down here. So what I'm going to do is this one is going to hold some cards on it, so it should be looking like that, like how it holds the card. Or just leave it like that. And there you go, just so then the cards will stay where it's supposed to go, so they have those tiny little clothes pin. And I will show you the ending. This is the size that I have, the smallest clothes pin it's the mini natural clothes pins okay so there you go so i will put this on the wall and i show you the after of our project okay
project that we just made today and that was super awesome and cool i really like it you can put any pictures in there or cards that you receive for um christmas or that could be an awesome present to your family and friends anyway thank you so much again for staying with me come back next time you have an awesome day mm -hmm.